Hey everyone, this is Superhero and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. Today we're talking about a tool that was recently introduced to me during a CTF and I think it's very, very neat. So i like to share this with you. You can use Google Collaborator to actually crack hashes with a super fast, insane speed. Best thing about it, it comes all for free. If you search Google for PangLab or you click on the link in the video description, you will end up on its GitHub repository. PangLab is a ready-to-install setup on Google Colab for cracking hashes with an incredible power, really useful for CTFs. So it comes with Hashcat, John, Hydra, SSH, launch an integrated shell, downloads word lists, all really cool. How to use it? Let's click on the link and I'll walk you through the steps. After clicking the link in the GitHub repository, we see that the file is loaded into Google Colab. Make sure that you are signed in with a Google account, because if not, Google will prompt you to do so before you run the code. And because I don't want this to happen during recording the video, I just did it before. The cool thing about this Python code is that it is designed in a way we just need to worry about what's in the first box and the rest of the code will take care of installing everything. I want to use hashcat, so I change the value of the hashcat variable from false to true. I decided to use the Python shell, so I set this from false to true. And because I prefer rockyou.txt and it's quite smaller than the other collection of words, I will set this to true. And that's it, we are done. And because we're here for the cool graphics card, let's make sure that we're actually using it. This is done with runtime, change runtime type, and selecting GPU as value for hardware accelerator. Click save, and you're good to go. After you hit runtime and run all, Google prompts you that this file is being loaded from GitHub and could potentially request access to your data. But after reviewing the script, as of today, it is fine and I can safely hit run anyway. These loading indicators will basically show us that these pieces of script are downloading the files getting everything that is needed to run and install these tools. And because this is taking a while, I will pause here and come back once it's finished. Once you're good to go, you see that the indicator keeps spinning at the last box that's filled with Python code, and we are offered this input box that is ready to receive our commands. Remember that this is a non-interactive shell, so we have to alter some of our commands that will follow, but I'll walk you through. With ls-la, we list the content of the current directory and see that there's a hashcat folder and here are our word lists. Let's change into the hashcat folder with cd hashcat. And now let's prepare an example that we can crack. I thought of using a SHA-512 salted hash because it's widely used in Linux distributions in Etsy password files. So you might stumble upon this doing hack the box or try hack me or anything from Vulnub. With open SSL password dash six dash salt and let's just take A, B, C, D, E, F we could generate a password, but since it would regularly prompt us to enter the password, and we cannot do it here, we have to pipe the password to this command. As a password, I chose superhero one exclamation mark as it's part of rocket.txt, and this should give us a good result. After you hit return, we get back this hash so let's copy that to our clipboard and continue with the regular hashcat command that we would normally use 
if we already had a hash that we want to crack. It's a little difficult to put it into a file here, so I will just pass it as an attribute. Uh, but the first thing is that we need to specify what hash we are targeting. And there are many hashcat cheat sheets that will help you to figure out the right number here. And for SHA-512, it's just uh, 1,800. Next follows our hash, so I'll paste it here. And then it is the path to our word list, which is in the directory below, word lists, rocky txt. If we would run this now, it would not work because it would expect the dollar signs indicating variables. So we escape all dollar signs in our hash string before we hit return. Although this is using the super fast GPU, it would take a while and I'll get back to you once it's done. Awesome. Here we have our result. Superhero one exclamation mark. And it only took one minute and 49 seconds with 32,000 hashes per second and three and a half million tries. Wow. This could have easily taken hours on our virtual machine. And for a CTF, time is really valuable. That's it. Isn't that awesome? And all available free of charge. So if you liked the video, leave a thumbs up, a comment, and hit the subscribe button if you have not to also be alerted for new videos. Feel free to join on Discord, follow me on Twitter, and check out the other awesome content creators at securitycreators.video. Yeah.